<laughs> yeah. Hey everybody and welcome to my new kitchen. Got a bit of a sexy vampire lisp happening today. I have long wanted to create an alcoholic drink that has not only the look, but also the viscosity of blood. Anyone can make a red drink, but some of us would like a more genuine vampiric experience with our cocktails and punches. I googled from time to time over the years to see if anyone had done it, but I could never find anything and I wondered why because this seems like such an obviously cool idea. Turns out probably no one has done it because it was actually kind of hard. So after much experimenting I have come up with a yummy drink that does indeed have the look and viscosity of human blood. Crack this out at your next party and you will be the coolest or weirdest host ever. This recipe can be used to make a single serving as a cocktail or an entire bowl of punch or pitcher, just scale it up. For easy reference, the recipe is on my website, it's blackfriday.com. Don't worry, I have also converted it into ounces for the Americans. Now this is an alcoholic drink, so this is only for those of you over the legal drinking age. I will try developing a yummy non-alcoholic version soon so hang tight. It tastes very nice, it's dangerously easy to drink but the real challenge came in getting it to the viscosity of blood. I tried a few different thickening agents. I had a few goes with corn flour, that's corn starch for you Americans, which if mixed properly gave it a chalky colour and if not mixed exactly right formed horrible white chunks. I tried guar gum which gave it the bang on perfect viscosity but it tasted fucking appalling. Xanthan gum was a close second, it can go straight into cold liquids but it has to be blended it gave it too jellyish a consistency and the bubbles wouldn't go away. Though it looked and tasted quite good, albeit a bit like mushed viscera. Finally, I tried arrowroot and we had a winner. Arrowroot is used to make clear glazes and behaves a lot like corn flour. The result is a smooth, viscous blend that tastes very nice. That'll do the trick. This recipe that I'm about to show you will make two or three servings. Like I said, scale it up for a whole pitcher or bowl of punch, depending on how many guests you'll be serving. Or halve it for a single serving. Remember, the recipe is on my website. So, you will need red wine, ideally at Merlot or Cabernet Sauvignon, a full bodied one with a good red colour. Vodka, cherry brandy or cherry liqueur, or in this case, cherry brandy liqueur, pomegranate juice. Grenadine, raspberry syrup or cordial, and arrowroot. In a separate small dish, mix three teaspoons of arrowroot with three teaspoons of water and stir until all the lumps are gone. Into a pot, put 150 ml of the red wine, 60 ml of vodka, 30 ml of the cherry brandy or cherry liqueur, 120 ml of pomegranate juice, 30 ml of raspberry syrup and 30 ml of grenadine. Heat very gently over medium heat. You want it to be hot but not boiling, about 80 degrees. Do not let it boil, okay? Or you'll lose some alcohol and God forbid we let that happen. Once it's hot, gradually add the arrowroot goo and stir continuously. You should start to feel it thicken slightly. For God's sake, don't let it boil. Take it off the heat, transfer it into a different container or your glasses or punch bowl if they can withstand the heat. Put in the fridge to cool for about 30 minutes or until cooled. Garnish with glacé cherries or raspberries, black sanding sugar, maybe a sprig of dried herbs for a creepy look, or put a bit of red food colouring and water into an ice cube tray. Trust me, this looks cooler than clear ice cubes. If you want a more vampiric experience, drink it while it's still slightly warm at about body temperature. If you do make this cocktail or a whole bowl of punch, please take a picture and tag me so I can see your creations. You can adjust the ingredient ratios according to taste, maybe add a bit more cherry liqueur or make it a bit sweeter with some more raspberry syrup or whatever. I never drink wine, but today just a little bit. <laughs> 
By the way, if you want amazing custom fangs like these, which I've had for years, by the way, look up Father Sebastian. He's the bomb.com when it comes to making fangs. I will link him below. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. That would be marvelous. And as always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other, stay spooky, and I'll see you next time. Bye.